know if these hand wraps bleed through, at least we get the right color. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to put a little marker of blue, but hey. Yeah. Sure. Maybe I'll take those gloves tomorrow. I'm fighting Dominic Brazil on Saturday, 20th of February, 2021, in Connecticut, uh, Mohegan Sun live on Showtime. And um, this training has been going really good. I had my last fight in August and I've been training pretty much since then. And we've been having great sparring with different guys, probably sparred up to, I don't know, maybe 10 different heavyweights. And that's a luxury here in New York. Uh, you get different sparring and different guys so feel very ready for this fight and and uh we have been uh preparing the, to the best of our abilities and we got a smart team a good trainer with joey and we got a good game plan for brazil <laughs> Yes, uh, for our training, there's times that we improvise as well, a good basic move. Um, could be with a pivot, could be with a step back, could be with a step forward. Um, you know, working off the front foot, working off the back foot. We're not afraid to explore. I mean, I could have showed something to Otto today that his fight's six days away um, that we haven't worked on. But if it's basics, it it's all effective and it works as good chances that it can be used no matter what um but yeah definitely we explore we try different things but we have routines that are down that are really good um fundamentals that you know it doesn't get better so for us to go we're, we're always open-minded don't get me wrong but you know when you're a good body puncher when you got a good jab and you good defense and good offense you know it's it's tough to beat that and Auto practices on the simplest things that are effective. And he, he explores, I explore. It just has to make sense. It has to be out of the basics. Preparing for a fight with Dominic Brazil, February 20th at Mohegan Sun. It's a great matchup, uh, two top fighters. We're very, very excited about it. We've had a great training camp. Autos had great boxing, great sparring. Uh, the whole team's come together and, and, and worked this fight out with uh, Brazil. Brazil's got two losses. He's got 18 knockouts and 20 fights, I believe. You know, dangerous guy, but somebody capable, not sensational. So he's there to be beat, and that's what we're gonna do. Otto's worked very, very hard. He's excited, I'm excited. I've got a good game plan. We, uh, we're ready to do it.
I think Brazil is a solid guy. He's big, strong, and he's got a good punch. But I think I have more tools than he has. I'm faster than him. I got better footwork. I got better defense and better offense. And I'm a smart fighter. I think that he is, he is what he is. And he likes to be aggressive and come forward, but he's not fast. He's kind of plodding. So I think that I got all the tools to beat him and and handle him good. I think that, you know, I can never underestimate him, but I don't want to overestimate him either. So I want to go in there, be the boss and handle business and come out victorious. Otto has a great work ethic. He's always had it since I met him. That was something that separated him from the others, was he was a guy that was very committed. He gave everything that he could. He, 110%, uh, that's who he is. He always compensated with a great work ethic. And uh, that's another element of what makes him special. This fight will be on Showtime this Saturday. Uh, shout out to Dimitri Salida, who's the promoter, along with Tom Brown. Uh, we're very thankful for this opportunity. We're excited. It's, uh, it's an opportunity that's really important in this pandemic times. So uh, we're there. We're going to make the most of it. We're going to beat Dominic Brazil, get the win, and go on to bigger and better things. And we couldn't do it without Showtime, without Dimitri Salida putting it together, without the team, David Berlin, Zach Levin, and uh, anybody else that's involved. We appreciate uh, this opportunity. We're going to take advantage of it. I'm, I'm at a, let me put some tape on this because the thing could come undone. I feel like I'm in a good spot. I had a good performance with Tyson Fury. It's time for me to kind of step out of that shell because I think most people just knows me from putting in a good performance, but I lost that fight. So, you know, even though it was a good fight, I want to I wanna show everybody that I'm here and I can beat these solid guys. And Brazil is one of them, is one of them. And I'm fighting on Showtime, which is a huge platform. So by putting in a good performance here with Brazil, that's going to take me to the next level. And then we can just keep on working and working and and things will just get better and better. So like I said, I think I'm in a really good spot. I got a good team around me, everything's in place. So now it's just time to put the work in.
things that I look for when auto works out, or whether you're sitting a heavy bag, double end bag, the maze ball, shadow boxing, the mitts, sparring, is I always look for fundamentals. I always look to keep it real that in those situations when you're in the trenches or you're being really pushed, that you want to see things that are real because that's what's uh, doable. So that's what I see when I watch Otto. I see his fundamentals, his basics, like on the heavy bag and doing all these different things, like keeping it simple and things that work. And that's what I think any good trainer looks for in a fighter. Come on, man. That's not us Latinos. <laughs> they underestimate us, Ivan. They don't know us. I'm trying, but I'm a little tight, but... <laughs> no more. So that's you. Yes, there's theatrics and different things that shine, but that comes off the good work that you do, the good basics, the good jab, the good uh, one-twos, one-two-threes, one-twos, lineups. Um, you know, basic combinations and feints and good footwork and good defense, blocking, slipping, stepping back, stepping forward. You know, keeping it simple so that you know that it can work and he feels comfortable using it. Because uh, if it's not comfortable, if it's not real, then when you're in those places in the ring, you're not going to use it. So why practice things that aren't real when you can practice the basics and the real things? So that's what excites me with Otto, is how real he keeps it and how basic he keeps it. He's a great body puncher, great jab, great defense. So uh, yeah, he keeps it very honest and very basic. Calva Lynn, Otto's father, he trusted me because I think he saw our work and he felt that Otto trusts me as well. And Otto and I, we fit together well because we're really fundamental people and we keep a simple basic and that's what works. And I think Cal, he realized that it was about the simplicity of it and, and training that way and 
everything that you see is for a purpose and a good purpose. Um, making hard fights easy, not easy fights hard, and you know, doing the logic behind it and being smart. I can't just put the first hand on you're going to use because you can use either hand. Of course, these hand, these will come undone. Time. Yeah, we enjoy training at Bolt Fight Club. It's a good gym. You know, it's a gym that's still open, so that's most important. Uh, they do a good job with it. I notice they keep it clean, they keep it healthy. Um, they got a schedule, that's important. So that's why they're still open. A lot of gyms have closed, and I have to say that Bolt Fight Club has been uh, our favorite gym, just because we work with uh, the fight with Fury, we trained there. And they've been good to us, which has been really important. Julio, uh, Colin, all, all the guys over there, they've been very, very good. And that that's, means a lot to us. So uh, everybody sacrifices. Uh, we may need the ring. Somebody else might need the ring, getting the sparring. But it's all been good. They've been terrific with us, and we respect that. And. We appreciate all the help that we get. It's a nice gym. So for this fight, we've been training at Bout Fight Club in the financial district here in New York. It's a great gym and uh, it's not the biggest, which is good. And they have everything we need. They're very nice to us, treat us well. And they uh, make sure I got everything I need and 
when we have sparring coming in, there's no problems and they, they are very welcoming and they uh, support us a lot. So I'm very happy for that and thanks to everybody at Bald Fight Club and hopefully I get to, uh, to win this fight, put in a good performance for all of you. Yeah, the opponent, Dominic Brazil, I've studied him a lot. And uh, yeah, he's a guy that's strong. We all know that he's big and strong. He was an Olympian, um, you know, not a lot of years experience because he started late in the game, but he made up for it by, you know, doing well early on in the images and making it to the Olympic team. So uh, yeah, being a big guy, being strong, you always have to be aware and alert to the punches. Um, but I think the strengths that he has, he has weaknesses as well. And that's the downfall of it. That's the difference to that next level, those good basics and fundamentals. Yes, I care about Otto. I care about everybody I work with, but especially Otto because, hey, it's been eight years that we worked together. When I lived in Copenhagen, Denmark, he was one of the guys that I was training. And uh, I'd have to say one of the most committed of all of them. And he's gone very far. So uh, the father knew that I cared a lot about his son and I wasn't looking to throw him in over his head and take the time that it requires to, to develop. And uh, hey, I'd like to even get more time to keep developing auto. But sometimes when you're in there with the, the bigger names, and that's what it dictates. So yeah, the father and I, we got along well, and he trusted me. for you Dominic Brazil this is everything on the line this is our time and we're coming to take it you know no matter what you got or what you used to have um, we're ready and we've worked very very hard and I've watched you a lot I know you and uh, we're ready to win this fight That's my boy right there. Hey, are you not entertained? Jeff. Is there no one else, Jeff? 